What's up everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm discussing Mile 22. Should I say, a film that should get buried 22 miles down. Can't tell from that statement, I really didn't enjoy this film. And that's really disappointing to me because I was looking forward to this. When they got announced that Peter Berg and Mark Wahlberg were re-teaming after Lone Survivor, after Deep Water Horizon, and after Patriot's Day, I was full on board because all three of those films are fantastic and both them together just totally work in sync which mile 22 they were saying that this is kind of going to be their own born trilogy in a sense with kind of that nice action thrilling vibes got me hyped got me on board I was sold seeing the film now I'll say this it's a very generic action film and that meaning it's very disposable I, I put it in equated to this. There's Call of Duty games like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, which is amazing, fantastic, set a new bar. And then there's Call of Duty games like Call of Duty Ghost, which doesn't set a bar, disposable, and you could just throw away and never play again. And that's Mile 22. I will never watch this film again. It's very generic in its aspects. I think the story's a very cool idea. It's about a bunch of operatives who are in this kind of secretive organization within the American government who they are like the third people you call. These are like deep level. You, no one knows who they are. They handle the crap. They're tasked with taking one man 22 miles through this very corrupt city to get him to a plane to get him out of the country. And that's a cool concept, having to take a package 22 miles in this very frantic and against the time clock. They only have like, I think three hours or so to get this mission done. And that is an awesome, awesome idea. The issue with the film is mostly with the script and the editing of the movie. I don't know really where to start with this movie because I have so many different thoughts boiling inside my head but overall let me get to my good parts i thought peter berg did a, f a fine job directing this film it's just fine it's nothing special i do think he should have really worked on the action sequences though because peter berg does bring that same style that he brought from Deepwater horizon or say lone survivor or even patriots he brings that very frantic energy which works for those documentary type movies where they're based on real life stories and that frantic feeling works in those films he gets the action sequences and it's getting so frantic you can barely see what's happening on the screen and a lot of that also goes to the editing which we'll get to that con in a second but i do think that Peter Burke should have adapted a different style when it came to directing the action sequences. Oh, and when I say the action is frantic, let me show what he looks like. Like this. I even say this, the characters in here are despicable. I, I didn't like any of them. The only reason I even liked any? I guess if you, I, I didn't like them. I liked the actors portraying them, so it made me like the characters, but there's no character development to them. There's a lot of subplot cliche things that make you try to like them. You know, Mark Wahlberg, it's Mark Wahlberg. He's charming. You're going to like him, but he's kind of a dick throughout the whole entire film. Same with Maggie from The Walking Dead, Lauren Cohen, fantastic actress. They're both fantastic actors and actresses in here, but it turns out her she's the same thing she has anger issues she's has a daughter so you you care for her in a sense you want her to make it out of alive on this mission and and, and that's just so cliche in those rags and she does a decent job but again she has that anger management issue that just makes you not like her this film goes so abusive with the cussing in it that it just was insane there's one scene in particular that i'm sitting there and they are abruptly saying the F word, the C word, every single word on the docket. And I'm not one to steer away from cussing. But it is very insane that that amount of cuss words came out of someone's mouth for a film. I'm usually not, but it just felt like it was overused and not needed. Like I said, everyone gives a decent performances. It really is just goes down to how their characters were written. Just my big con for this film is the script. The script, with a great concept like this, the dialogue is cheesy. It's not there. It just doesn't work. It's like they painted this film and it just... It stops for such whole long parts of the movie that it just doesn't keep going and going. It just stops when this should be a very frantic mission that's continuing and continuing to go. That's what I wanted from this movie was a nice action thriller that kept me on the edge of my seat. But at the end of the day, it just gave me a headache from the way the action scenes were shot, which the guy from the right, I don't know how to pronounce his name right, but Iku, when he was on screen, 
his action sequences were better than everyone else's. He's doing them. You'll, you'll, if you see the film, you'll understand what I'm saying, but it's just, again, the editing is the problem that messes up almost all these action sequences in here. I know I'm going on like such a big rant with this film, but it really disappointed me. I expect so much more from Peter Berg and Mark Wahlberg when they're collaborating, and especially when they're saying that, yeah, we're going to make this awesome operative kind of agency type film, and they built up a lot of cool qualities to this agency. It just never executed it right, which is the big word for the film. It doesn't execute it. It doesn't, it's just generic and disposable. My friend left the film and even said this about the movie. This is the perfect movie to put on while you Netflix and chill. Cause we all know what people do while they're Netflix and chilling. Cause in the reality, the movie's loud. You don't need to watch it. It's disposable. And no one will hear what you're doing while you're Netflix and chilling. The end of the day, Mile 22 is very generic and disposable. It's the Call of Duty ghost of all these action films for this year. Not the worst film I've seen this year, particularly. Just one of the most disappointing films I've seen this year. There should have been more to it. I can't say I would be on board to see a sequel to this. They do set it up very generically again. The script's poor. And even though it has good performances and these actors are giving them all... I just didn't like their characters at all to want to go on another adventure with them. Very disappointed in this one. So with all that said, I'm going to have to give Mile 22 a D plus. And I don't know what happened with this one. I don't know if there was problems with the editor. I don't know if there was problems with some stuff on set. I, I have no idea what happened to this film. Like this sounded like gold and it just turned into gold. Tell me guys, did you guys get to see Mile 22? I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below on this film. Why are you down there? Why not tell me what your favorite Peter Berg and Mark Wahlberg collaboration is? Mine, personally, is Patriot's Day. That film hit me very hard, like a rock. Also guys, if you guys are new here, hit up Sandwich on Films right down there, down below, because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens, like Happy Time Murders, which is coming up very soon. Look out for that, see if there's advanced screen hitting you soon. Also, you guys can check out movie news and also movie reviews. But guys, of course, until next time. Stay class.